Now, we're going to finish off by touching on the final, which happened over the weekend. And of course, you were a very, very proud Corkman watching this game. This, of course, was a fantastic day for Sarsfields of Cork. They beat Drum and Inch in the Munster Senior Camogie Championship final. Sarsfields 2 11, Drum and Inch two goals and seven points. Lucy Allen was the key woman in this game, hitting both of Sarsfield's goals. Kate Fennessy with five points, Orla Mullins with three, Holly Herlihy with two, Claire Mullins with the other point. And Sarsfields and Munster Camogie champions for 2023. Unexpected as well because Drum and Inch were going for two in a row in this and they do have very good players like Emer McGrath, for example, and Murray Davidson. And it would have been interesting to see how the likes of Lucy Allen and Orla Mullins would have gone up against uh, Murray Davidson in this game because we all know she's probably the Mikey Butler of Camogie. Like every time yeah. you go on her, you know, you're not getting much past them like you. Yeah. Like she did so well this year, and I think it was Neve Rocket against Denise, Water. And I know Denise Gall, yeah. Denise Gall for Kilkenny, and of course, Roshi McCormick for Antrim as well. Was scored as her play, I think it was, in that uh, all our quarter final. But Sarah Spins did absolutely brilliant. And um, like car clubs don't necessarily do well in the car um, or the all Ireland Camogie Championship, mainly because uh, there's this visual side called Shandoon. Have the likes of Amy O'Connor on their team, Amy, Amy Lee in goal, um, Hat, Lauren Holman. A uh, few of them players, and they'd be intercounty standard most of the time. And Shandoon would have beat all the club teams this year. It was different. Sarsfields won out of the Cork Championship, a brilliant achievement for them. I think it was their first Camogie uh, Championship in Cork ever, or or in a long time, anyway. And they get, they get into this stage. And what I will say about Sarsfields, they don't have necessarily individuals. The likes of Ian McGrath, Murray Davison for Drummond Inch, for example, they have a very good team ethic. They have players to will to willingly work for the team. Lucy Allen, two goals, outstanding performance from her. And um, you know, she could be in the reckoning for Joe Manley's car panel next year. Joe Manley, the new manager for the Car Camogie team next year, taking over for Matthew Toomey. Kay Fennessy had another good game as well. Or the Mullins. I'd be keeping an eye on her for a, lo- a lot of time, really. I think she has definitely a lot of potential to get into this Cork Camogie team. But there is kind of a situation, isn't it, Seamus, that Cork did so well last year that what, what do you need to add to it? You know? Yeah. So maybe the Sarsfields players are just unlucky that they're coming up against kind of a ju- golden generation of Cork players. So it's going to be tough for Germany to pick his team now next year. Molly Lynch is an experienced goalkeeper for him. Sarsfields have won a puck follow competition as well. So she's another good player in the team. Like they do have very good players. Like Ellen Toomey is another one uh, who plays, I think, with Dan Meyer uh, ladies football. And they're in an all the semi-final in the, next, in the next few weeks to come as well. That Dan Meyer and Sarsfields are kind of the interjoined clubs in Cork. So, Brilliant achievement for Sarsfields Camogie to win it and to win a Munster title against probably the aristocrats of uh, Camogie and Munster. It's a brilliant achievement and fair play to Sarsfields for doing it. I'm not sure the semi finals now, Seamus, by no other four teams are Sarsfields, um, Lockheed Shamrock from Antrim, um, Dixborough from uh, Kilkenny, and Sarsfields from Galway. Mm-hmm. That'd be quite interesting, actually, if it is the semi final, Sarsfields against Sarsfields. That would be incredible and so on, right? But uh, pair, the pair of Sar- funny. Who are you going with, Sarsfields? <laughs> Go with <laughs> no one's having to take it. Imagine if it's a draw. Everybody gets a run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. But um, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, massive, massive congratulations to the Cork Sarsfields. They are the Munster Camogie champions for 2023. Uh, like, just an absolutely outstanding achievement. And yeah, Drum and Inch were... The favourites going into it, Emer McGrath, she finished with four points. Miriam Campion with 1-1. One, one. Siobhan McGrath with the other goal. Aoife McGrath and Kate Ferncombe both hit the remaining points of their tally. But look, they were the better side. And like they're going into that final four. It's a shark bit. You've got Sarsfields from Galway who've been, you know, Camogie royalty there. Vincent's are gone. That's something that has been, you know, they've been a, a constant feature over the last years. It's Dix, Dixbert in this time. And Lockheel Shamrocks, who dominated All Star in the final four. Speaking right now in November, who are you backing to kind of go on from here? It's going to be a difficult one, but I think Dixborough and Sarsfields from Cork, the Cork Sarsfields are stressed out um, very, very much. Um, I think they'll be probably inexperienced going to the other. I think it's going to be between Lockheel and uh, Sarsfields from Galway instead to mm. win the um, Camogie Club Championship. I was impressed with Sarsfields from Galway last year. 
Like they have some good players. The McGrath sisters are brilliant players in various to them. And I think that could be enough to get them over the line. Like Oral McGrath is an outstanding player. Siobhan McGrath. Like they have some outstanding players all over the field. Stars fields. And they, they looked a really good team from what I've seen last year in the all the Kabogi final. So for right now, it's probably a boring prediction, but I'm going to back them. Yeah, no, I'm going to go with Galway Sarsfields as well. I think last year in the Kamogi Championship, they just looked kind of untouchable. So I probably will go with them just to narrowly take it. Anyway, that is the weekend recapped. Big thank you to you, Matthew, for coming on, taking the time out of your day. And of course, thanks to anyone who also took the time out of their day to give us a few minutes of your time and listen to us waffle on about the game that we all love. Anyway, thanks so much for anyone who watched. Until the next one here on Uncle Here, guys. Tore out.